Greetings, it's Robin's Book Club, episode 48, Feininger's Chicago, 1941. 65 photographs by Andreas Feininger. Well, they've rather given the game away with that full description on the front page, but we are back with Andreas Feininger. We've done two videos on him before, and I will link those, you know, wherever it is that you're supposed to uh, link the videos. I think he's probably... Is he a bit forgotten these days? I don't know. I think he's an, an underappreciated genius, let's put it that way. And uh, this work from 1941 is really something. He himself writes in the introduction, This book shows you how I saw Chicago 40 years ago. We, my wife Weiss and I, were living in New York and things were different then, remember? A subway ride was a nickel, the New York Times three cents and the Daily News two. We shunned the Fifth Avenue buses because the fare was ten cents as against only five and all the other bus lines in the city. We had very little money then. I had just quit photographing for a well-known picture agency because the job paid only $20 a week, but in those times, a little went a long way. The idea to do a picture essay on Chicago came to me after I'd successfully sold a story on New York to life. I had discussed the matter with Wilson Hicks, then picture editor, who in essence said why not, so off we went. We drove, because we wanted to see as much of the country as possible. We had only been in America a little over a year. Everything was so different from what it had been at home in Stockholm. Fascinating and new. And he goes on to talk at length about the, the newness and the differences. Uh, we worked from dawn to dusk for 20 days, then drove back to New York, where I developed my films, printed my negatives and presented my picture essays to the editors at Life. But, to my great disappointment, it never made the magazine. And yet, here he is. He says he's writing 40 years later, so early 1980s. The work gets published, and it is uh, both a testament to uh, those times, early 40s Chicago, and also to the fine, fine photographer that Andreas Feininger was. I've left an affiliate link in the description below if you'd like to pick up a copy of this book uh, from Amazon. Uh, so if you wanted to, that'd be great. And uh, if you want to check out uh, some more of my thoughts at the end of the video, we'll just look at a few of my favourites from this brilliant book.
Feininger's Chicago 1941. 65 photographs by Andreas Feininger. You've seen them all. What did you think? I just love him. I think he's absolutely fantastic. He's been one of my favourite photographers for a very long time now. And let's take a look at some of my favourite images here towards the end of the book. This, I really put this in because it's two different examples of how to photograph cars, but I really want to know what a parking elevator is and why, if they had them in the 40s, why haven't we got them today? Are they are they dangerous? Are they outdated? I don't know. We know that Feininger loves to play with, shall we say, compression and perspective and uh, technical aspects of photography. Uh, this picture of the bridges is, well, both of these pictures I think are absolutely fantastic, but the picture of the bridges especially uh, is the one from the front cover of the book as well. And this, I really like these kind of, behind the scenes areas of the big cities so initially i was drawn to this because of all of the kind of the fire escapes um but yeah he calls it like a a, a truck alley and uh, you imagine the, the smell and the noise and the busyness of this unseen area of chicago i just think it's an absolutely fantastic picture and uh, one that i would be very proud to have made myself so finding a chicago 1941 i hope you liked it give us a like and a subscribe and i'll have more soon